I think it might be the weather that's kept some people away. Shame on them. We've, we've been through a lot worse than this, but uh, thank you. Thanks to you who did come tonight. This is a very special evening because Catherine Hall Page, who is on her fourth visit to our author's night, is celebrating today the release of her 23rd Faith Fair Child Mysteries. And she's joined... And she's joined by Peter Abrahams, who is a first-time visitor to our to our author's night. Um, not a stranger to the area, he's a local guy. Writes under two names, Peter Abrahams and Spencer Quinn. Um, and he is uh, followed by people of all ages, because he writes middle school, young adults, and grown-ups, if we could call ourselves that, uh, mysteries. Um, so, to say a little bit about Catherine, as I said, this is her 23rd book in the Faith Fairchild series. She's the only author to have been ever nominated for an Agatha, an Agatha Christie Award in four different categories. Uh, and she has won for best first novel, best short story, and best novel. Those are, those are pretty high achievements. Um, very shortly after tonight, she is driving down to Washington, D.C. to accept the Lifetime Achievement Award from the group called Malice Domestic, which last year gave the award to, um, what's her name? <laughs> Sue Grafton, and um, Tony Hillerman's won the award. So she's, she's in really, really top-notch company, deservedly so. Peter uh, has written 34 crime novels, and his latest book, which is just out now, right? Today, another first day thing, is called ARF, A-R-F, and it's about a dog, uh, surprisingly enough. Um, and it is for, uh, for young readers, but I'm told that it really is a book for every age, and especially for dog lovers. Um, he is also the author of uh, The Fan, which some of you may remember seeing uh, the movie that starred Robert De Niro. Uh, so that must have been an interesting experience for him. Uh, I will close with a Stephen King quote. Uh, Peter Abrahams is my favorite American suspense novelist. Wow. So, what do you know? <laughs> Aren't we lucky to have these, both of these people here tonight? Are you going to read anything? No. Unless Jenny asks.